Welcome to The Terrible Take, a daily segment telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Alex Kazora. Today is the first day of Steelers training camp. Yesterday, the team signed Melvin Ingram, so I know I should be talking about one of those subjects, but I need to squeeze in one other thing on my mind that, I don't know, just feels perfect as my take of the day. Pro Football Reference put in an exhausting amount of work to tabulate sacks from 1960 to 1981 before the league made the stat official in 1982. And while, yes, PFR's numbers are unofficial and not 100% complete, though they're pretty close, it's as good of a job as anyone has ever done. And yet, the NFL has reportedly rejected their numbers and are not considering adding them to their official database. Why does the league do this to itself? These new figures are opening up a window of numbers and data to some of the greatest pass rushers and players of all time. Deacon Jones, Alan Page, Jack Youngblood, Mean Joe Green. It's like baseball not caring about how many home runs Babe Ruth hit, the NBA ignoring Wilt Chamberlain's career points, or the NHL turning their nose at Gordie Howe's assists. The NFL should be making every effort to embrace this kind of stuff. Even if they need to take it a step further, hire a team to collaborate with PFR to confirm and complete the numbers. They have the ability, they just don't have the desire or willpower. Stamping these numbers as official is a great way to honor so many pioneers of the game. Put it this way, Deacon Jones invented the word sack, yet the NFL has no official tally of how many he actually had. The numbers are there. PFR has them down for 173 and a half, including three years with at least 20 but the league seems to have zero intention of recognizing that. Someone else had the idea, put in the work, and has the data. And the NFL is going, eh, thanks, but no thanks. That's more twisted logic from America's biggest business. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every day at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with myself and Dave Bryan every Tuesday and Friday.